This was the view outside of my window when I woke up on Monday, April 11th to make my spring dress. I soon found myself doing what any sane person would be doing on a snowy April day, running around in an Elsa dress and letting my feet become ice cubes. Did I really want to go outside in the freezing cold weather and prance around in an Elsa costume? No. But did I need to film a TikTok? Yes. Most definitely yes. This is the look of someone that is miserably cold. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it was snowing outside this morning. It's not anymore. And I decided I'm gonna make my spring dress today. And I'm really excited. I've come up with a couple of different designs. The first idea that I came up with was kind of like sulky inspired puff dress with big puffy sleeves. But once I designed it or drew it up, which I am not good at drawing, I just didn't vibe with it. It wasn't the vibe I was going for because I'm making it for these butterfly shoes I have that I spent a pretty penny on. I think I wanna try for the very first time a bustier cup to bodice. And I've never done that because it's terrifying for me. And we're gonna see how it goes. I, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm gonna use a pattern, make my own pattern. We'll see. But yeah, hopefully I can make it look exactly how I want it to look. Now for the fabrics. Okay, so I have these two bolts of fabric and I have this beautiful tool butterfly fabric that's rainbow and it's gonna go perfect with the shoes that I have to go with it. I can't wait to show you guys. And I think it's gonna make the perfect Easter dress. So I'm very, very excited. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it's like, it's just like rainbow and it has these iridescent butterflies on it if you can see it and i'm very 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 excited for it so for the base i'm going to use this purple satin fabric and then instead of putting this directly on top i wanted the rainbow to kind of show through more so what i'm going to do i think is put this silky white chiffon over the purple kind of like layer it on. And then on top of that is where I'll finally put this rainbow fabric. And I don't know exactly what kind of skirt pattern I'm gonna do, but if you can see, it's kind of like frothy. Reminds me of a milkshake. And I think it's gonna be so much fun and I love it. It's just like, I don't know, it just screams Easter and spring to me. And the shoes that I have for it, I will show you guys. It's gonna be perfect. So I am gonna go change out of this dress because I thought I wanted to wear it today, but I actually don't. So I'm gonna put something comfortable on and then we'll start getting to work on this skirt. I don't know exactly what I wanna do for the skirt, but I do know that I do not wanna start with the bodice because I've been sewing for two years now and I still haven't done a cupped bustier, bustier, I think it's called bustier. I still haven't done with those because I'm terrified to do so. So we're gonna do the skirt first and then go from there. Okay, so step one is definitely gonna figure out how long I want this to be. In my head, I am picturing like tea length, cupped bodice. That's kind of the idea I'm going for. So I feel like maybe mid calf. Because the shoes I have, they have butterflies on the back of them. So they need to, it needs to be high enough that you see the butterfly clearly. I don't know how long that is. I would guess it's like 30 inches. I need a measuring tape. One sec. Let's be measured once more. Yeah, 29. Okay, we're gonna do 30 inches. I fear I cut this wrong. Please don't. <sighs> now to cut the waist. The moment of truth, seeing if I like it. Oh yeah, that waist is definitely big enough. I could have done a smaller one. Oh, okay. A lot of static right now. That's kind of the length I'm going for. I think I wanted it a bit longer. So I will, I'll just cut the tool a couple inches longer and it will just kind of hang over. But I like that. Now we'll do the next layer. Okay, we're ready to cut now. If you hear the raindrops in the background, that's because the snow is melting and it's burning hot in my house. So I 
open the window. I decided I'm going to do a half circle skirt for the white layer. Okay, we have the top skirt cut out. Let's see how it looks all together. I'm hoping that it gives what needs to be given. Gave, because I have like this really clear vision in my head. I cut the waist really big on this one. Yes, yes. I think it's perfect. And then the rainbow over it, it's gonna be like a milkshake. And now it's time for the big deal. Cut this wish me luck. I just finished off the edges with my serger on the purple fabric and just now this sheer fabric. And this stuff was a nightmare to um, serge with. It, 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 it ended up, it ended up fine. I wanted to do a rolled hem, but this was so delicate, it just, it was not working. So I ended up just normally serging it and it's a bit funky. If you can see but i'm hoping that once this is over it on the edge that you won't see it and it will kind of blend in and that this will be the focal point of it just not wanting to work with me so we're gonna work with it and do what it wants <laughs> the skirt itself is going good we just gotta sew everything now taking a break from making the skirt because i'm gonna go to the store and get coconut cups as we would call them <laughs> for the bodice as well as some ribbon uh because if i don't go right now i'm not gonna want to go later and i'm not gonna want to go tomorrow because i hate leaving my house so Let's go see what we can find. He's eating the candy cane. <laughs> He's my mood for the day. Look at him go. Sexy. Yikes. Oh. Here are the coconut cups. I don't know if these are gonna work for the pattern I have in mind, so I'm gonna look for some foam too, to make my own, if need be. And then for ribbon, I'm gonna do purple, I think. And then to lace up, I'll do this. <laughs> don't, don't put them on your face. Okay, today it's day two. We're ready to finish the skirt. So far, I just have everything cut. I have this hemmed and then I have this hemmed and cut. And then I have this cut. The next step just is gonna be to gather all of the waists into one. So we're gonna get this cut and I've been listening to music this morning. I'm in a great mood even though it's raining and I'm really excited for this skirt. Okay, let's go. You guys always ask, everybody asks me what sewing machine I use and I use the Brother XR9550 and I definitely recommend it. In my opinion, it's very simple and beginner friendly, but it's a good working machine. And I would say that most brother machines are, and I would definitely recommend it. It's very, very affordable as far as sewing machines go. And I really love it. I've had it for about a year now, and I've not had any problems. I definitely recommend it. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna buy it. I highly recommend it. If you wanna start sewing, this is what you should get. It's very, very easy to use and learn, and it's very reliable, and I love it. I use it several hours every day. Get this machine, you won't regret it. I love it. I actually think that I might have made the waist on this a little bit too big, but we're just gonna make it work and hope for the best. And now we gather all of this. Let's start with this one. Hey, hot stuff. This fabric, I don't know how I feel about it. It's really finicky. It's chiffon, but I've never felt chiffon this silky before. Not fun to work with at all. 
And I have a feeling that the hem of this is gonna warp. I know I'm probably gonna have to redo the hem. You guys, look at these snowflakes. They're huge! They're like the size of softballs! What the heck? Oh, they're ginormous. I was gathering the fabric and I looked outside. It's like soap bubbles falling from the sky. I swear the weather these past couple days has been so weird. They're huge. It looks like it's raining soap. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna film with this pretty soap bubble background. But I feel like a ballerina. I think it's good though. It's kind of the right amount of poof I wanted and I'm imagining it with these shoes. I do think I was right in my suspiciousness that it, the uh, white layer is gonna warp. You can see it down there. So I'm just gonna cut it pretty short, I think. But it's like a rainbow milkshake. Okay. like my pattern pieces? Do you always sit on my stuff when I'm trying to work? Oh, you are so cute. This is the pattern that I have. If I could show it to you, it's called the Rose Cafe Bustier pattern. And I'm having blind faith that it will fit me because I don't want to do a mock-up because I, it's a waste of time to me. So I have the lining and the outer shell cut out. I'm gonna go sew the cups and hope for the best. You cats just love my stuff. You guys are visions. You took my broken melody. The symphony. Oh. I don't know if I'm messing up. Maybe, I think it's just, this isn't like meant for this pattern. So I sewed on the thing and there's like a lot of room. <laughs> Look at this. So I'm trying to decide what to do. I think since I'm gonna have the tool over it anyway, I think I might kind of just pleat this down to make it fit kind of like that because you're not gonna notice if it's not like fitting, you know, because it's gonna be draped over. Cause look, all of this extra space, it could also be that the fabric is warping cause I cut it um, on the bias so that it would be stretchy when I was pulling over. So I think maybe this, especially over here, just stretched a lot. But other than that, I think it's pretty, looks official. Like it looks legit. We're just gonna roll with it and hope for the best. I think it's gonna turn out fine. I'm not worried too much. I'm just gonna do it. Isn't this pretty? I just took the tool and I draped it over and I think it's pretty, although this is gonna be itchy. So I might put like ribbon on it, but now I'm just gonna like trim the excess and repeat with the other one. And then we'll go on to the rest of the bodice. I really like that though. I think it's cute. This one turned out a little bit rough so I'll do the same thing and I think I'll use different colors. This one I use like the pink and the blue purple. So for this one, I'll use like the yellow and greeny colors. And I think they're really cute. I cannot wait. my hair I got myself lunch and we're gonna hopefully finish the dress today I have a couple hours to do it and not much left to do I have to um, just finish up the bodice really quick so let's get started I love pineapple juice yesterday what I accomplished I have the lining cut out 
I have the cups ready to go. And I'm very proud of these. Look at how good they turned out. They're like a beautiful rainbow. And then I have the outer layer ready. Now, I decided to do exposed bony channels because I thought it would look really cool once I do this kind of drapey situation over it because it'd be like see-through-ish so you'd kind of see them but not not too much. Um, so that's my plan. I need to go get some zip ties, fit them into these channels, and then figure out how the heck to sew this into here. Because I know that you can sew it on top like so, but I also know you can sew it like this and then flip. And I don't know what one would be better. Probably this and flip. <laughs> Now we're basically, I have this gathered rectangle of tool and we're gonna take the rectangle of tool and sew it to the bottom and then we're gonna pin it down up here, gather it up and it's gonna be really nice. This definitely turned out way better than I had even imagined in my head, this beautiful rainbow. It's so subtle and pastel -y. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna cut the access net tool off and then we will figure out what to do with the cups because I do not really know yet. But this is literally probably gonna be one of my favorite things I've ever made because I love color. Oh, it's cute. It's kind of bulky though. It comes out, you know? It needs like a belt to kind of give a defined waist, especially once I get the skirt. Now we need to figure out this whole cup situation. I don't even know. Oh, that looks so good. So I think I'm gonna sew it on like this, right sides together, because then I'll have all of the bag seam on this side. And since I'm adding a lining, I don't think it will really matter. You guys, that looks so good. I'm gonna have straps, O-M-G. That is literally what I was imagining in my head. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. That was actually surprisingly easy to sew in. All the junk is on the inside, but since I have the lining, I'm not even gonna worry about it. We're just gonna let it be how it is. I might actually top stitch this down, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna put the other one in and we'll see how it looks. And um, did she? She'd be quiet. <laughs> and, then, and then she was like getting uncomfortable, so she broke up with him. He's in high school? He's a freshman. Oh, Owie! The dress sits almost finished, but then I ran into an issue because there's a bit of bulk at this waist, and if you don't know, invisible zippers, they're really finicky. If there's too much bulk, it just won't zip. So what the problem I was running into is that it would zip up to the waist, and then it won't go any further because of the bulk where the bodice meets the skirt. I do have a zipper in, but I ended up putting grommets in to lace up, and I really did not want to do that because I wanted the look of it zipped, but it would just not zip onto my body, and there was no other way to get it on so that's what we have and it works there's nothing really too bad about it and it looks really nice on the inside with it all lined anyway the dress itself is done and it's really good i think i'm proud of it